it's TX Stamp and Sharon. Welcome to my Thursday Night Live. Tonight, I will be stamping three cards, and hopefully, you're stamping along with me. I did send out the uh, measurements to my cards in my newsletter today. So, those of you who are on my newsletter list, you have those instructions. Those of you who may not be on my list, these cards are super easy, and I am going to um, have the uh, instructions available after the live is over, over on the blog post. So you can still get them. Um, I do want to welcome you. If you're new to my channel, I do want to welcome those who are uh, joining me during the live. And I especially appreciate those of you who watch the replay um, and just spending a little bit of time uh, out of your day with me. So I want to flip the camera around and give everybody just a minute to find us. This is a live. And so I just want to make sure that everybody has gotten the message and they go, okay, let me go over here because I have my tutorial to make these cards. These cards are so fun and so easy. I think that um, even if you don't have this stamp set, which is called inked and tiled, I think that the measurements well, I know that the measurements would work for any stamp set you have. So those of you who don't have the stamp set, you could still stamp an image here and still make this card. So I, um, I just want to give a shout out to a few who are joining during the live. Um, but I especially want to give a shout out to my good friend, Michelle Batson. Hey, Michelle, how are ya? Um, Michelle is um, my helper doing these labs. Um, she helps you guys um, answer questions. Maybe if you can't find something or maybe I, maybe I went too fast, <laughs> which has been known to happen. Um, if you have a question for her, you can type the at sign and start typing Michelle Batson's name and she will see your message. So, but she's so good, y'all. I don't even know if you have to do that because she's that good. So um, nothing like uh, putting you up there on a pedestal, right, Michelle? <laughs> Hello, Carrie Hamilton. Hi, Sharon Smythe. Hi, Annie. Annie Case. Um, hi, Michelle. Ma okay, Michelle Merkaba. Merk Help me pronounce your name, Michelle, because I keep, I'm like, one day I'm just going to call her because I see your order come through and I'm like, how do I say her last name? So help me out, Michelle. Hi, Katie Gordon. How are you? Hi, Joan Miller. Hi, Brenda Bennett. Um, hi, Debbie Aldridge. Debbie Aldridge, I got your message. You told me I didn't have to call you back, so I didn't. I am staying cool inside the house. Uh, Texas, somebody turned the broiler up in Texas because it is hot here. Um, so we are all trying to stay cool in this Texas heat. So um, thank you for checking on me, Debbie. I appreciate that. All right, let's dig into a little bit more information about my card, okay? So this is going to be the first card that we make. Now this is the second card. So you can see they're pretty easy. This card is just stepped up a little bit, and we'll get into that more as we, um, as we get to stamping. So hi, Anita. Oh, you like my new shirt. This shirt says inspire, create, and share. It is from Stampin' Up!, I love the fun t-shirts, y'all. I'm all about the t fun t-shirts. Okay, so the stamp set is called Inked and Tiled. Um, I did purchase it as a bundle, and I got these fun punches. I love punches, okay? So the punches came with my bundle. Um, the paper that I'm using is also, it's called Inked Botanicals. And um, hi, Joan. I'm glad you found me live as well. Um, so super fun, uh, very subtle flower botanicals. Um, so that made it really fun. Whoops. Hold on. I, I might need that. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. Okay. Um, you'll see why. <laughs> um, anyway, so super pretty. Um, you know, it is still on sale this month for those of you who are taking advantage of the uh, designer series paper sale. Um, so let's move these out of the way. Uh, but I want to point out something with you guys. Where did I put those other DSPs? Oh, there they are. Okay, let me put you right here. 
Let's stay organized, Sharon. We don't want to be all over the place. So let's just chat for just a minute. Um, I see that people are finding me. So here in the catalog, whoops, dropped the stamp. Here in the catalog is the bundle, okay? Um, there's the designer series paper. That's the ribbon I'm using. Um, but when you look at the punches, if you turn back here to designer series paper, this one called Delightfully Eclectic, guess what? The punch, one of the punches, this one, hi, Diane Phillips from Oklahoma, matches, whoops, I may have to cut a piece. Hold on, let me get, hi, Paula Rat. how are you? I'm just going to trim this off just a little bit because nobody's going to use that part anyway. Um, but this actually punches this paper too. Stop it. Look at that. Y'all see that? So, pretty cool to figure out that you could use it with a different paper pack. And how cute is that? Like the X's and O's for um, tic-tac-toe. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to point that out to y'all. Okay, how are we doing? everybody? Oh, yeah, everybody's finding me. Um, hi, Sarah Kendall. I'm so glad that you are able to watch tonight's live. Okay, so on my tutorial sheet, I just told you that my cards are portrait, but you could make yours landscape as you're stamping along with me. Uh, speaking of that, let me know in the chat during the live if you are stamping along. If you're watching the replay... I want to know in the comment as well. Let me know if you're making these cards. So you might be stopping and starting uh, the video to make these cards. This is not mystery stamping, but maybe it is. You know what the you know what the cards look like, so there's no mystery here. Um, I just thought it would be fun to do a little stamp along um, because these cards are fairly easy. Trinket Troy loves the punches too. Yeah, they're so fun. All right, let's get let's get our first card up. And the supplies that we need. Mary Yates is stamping along. Michelle Merkaba. I'm still trying, Michelle, uh, is stamping along. Oh, there is going. There are several of you guys stamping along. Okay, so we have our uh, sample. We're going to lay this. We'll put this right here for you guys. Um, we have cut a piece of designer series paper. Susan Hammond is just watching. Vey is just watching um brenda is a, is along for with us for the fun sharon reese is stamping and trinket troy is planning on making these right after it's over and that's great too guys if you want to just watch me and then make your cards later that's all good too all right so this is four inches by five and a quarter super simple on a piece of basic white thick i prefer thick uh, Dora says, she's just watching. She doesn't do well multitasking. Girl, I used to come multitask. It's hard now. <laughs> I feel ya. I feel ya. So this is just five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. All right. I prefer to use Seal Plus um, for my adhesive, but you could use any adhesive you want. And we're just going to add this to the front of our card. Okay. I have a feeling... Where is the rest of my cardstock? You gotta be kidding. It's that new puppy I got. <laughs> got a new dog. Unbelievable. Yeah, I have everything else cut and ready. Okay, hold please. We are going to be using this stamp and this stamp. I have um, my Lost Lagoon ink pad. And I have my Versamark ink pad because I'm going to be doing some embossing. I have white embossing powder. And I have my, this ribbon, y'all, is so pretty. It's called Bordered, Bordered Ribbon. And this is Lost Lagoon. I don't know if you can see the texture in that. Yeah, 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 you can. Look at that. Rosemary is just watching. She is going to... Um, she didn't know that we were going to be doing this live. Okay, so you guys let me know. If you like this stamp along idea, uh, we could do it once a month. 
I think I thought that would be fun to do. Um, so I am going to let you guys adhere that first layer while I go get my other layers because they seem to be missing. Hmm. I don't know. I just think that's just so fun that I did that. So my Lost Lagoon is three and a quarter by four and three quarters. Whoops, don't put that in the ink pad. Phew. All right, let's move this. I promise I have everything else done. So three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And I told my husband, I go, yeah, 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 I've checked everything. I'm good to go tonight. Hmm, I guess not. Then my card stock is going to be, my basic what is going to be three by four and a half. So we're gonna do four and a half. And three. Okay, loves the stamp along. Sarah thinks that these colors are beautiful. And Sarah, you know what? I'm going to be honest. It has taken me a while to fall in love with Crush Curry, but I have finally done it. And this, this designer series paper really forced my hand on using Crush Curry. All right. So we now have, we're going to do some stamping. So whether you have the same stamp sets that I do, um, hopefully you have a good size image that you could use to put on here. We are just doing uh, more of a monochromatic, just the same color of ink as our cardstock, okay? So the first one I'm gonna do, I'm going to ink it, that's kind of a big stamp. So I'm going to ink this up upside down to make sure I get the whole thing, okay? And I'm gonna stamp that full strength, full strength of ink right there. Hi, Kay Strum. I'm so glad you're here. Debbie, this cute little dog, I don't know. I'll have to post a picture of him in my newsletter or um, I can't, he's on that camera right there, but I can't show you. <laughs> cute little blonde dog, not much bigger than a dachshund. Um, Papillon, maybe. I don't know. He looks like a little mix. I'm not really good on, I don't know what kind he is. Um, but he's a sweet little dog. He showed up here at the house and it was so hot. Like I said, Texas is just on fire these days. Um, and so I just couldn't stand it. Plus we live out in the country and I didn't want the coyotes to get him. So I brought him in on Monday night, or as Renee said last night, and Renee knows what I'm talking about. Um, and so, yeah, they then cleaned him up. Mm. I don't know. He might be mine. All right. So I've inked up my stamp. I'm going to stamp off because I just want the shadow of this stamp, this image right here. Roxanne, I love uh, Crush Curry in the fall as well. Um, but I'm going to be honest, in the past, I could have found another fall color I liked. So I didn't always use it. Anyway. Okay. So we are going to uh, clean up these stamps because I will be using them again. Um, I prefer the stamp and scrub when I'm cleaning my stamps. Some of you might have a chamois or baby wipes, whatever you prefer. Um, I just prefer this because it can I can wash it and dry it and use it right away and keep on stamping with you guys. So uh, Candace is watching. She's waiting for paper. Okay. Um, Mandy says that she is really pleased that I had such a good time in her area um, last, uh, when was that? Saturday, two weeks ago. Well, no, week and a half. I don't know. I went on a whirlwind trip. I was in Conroe and Spring, Texas, um, and then went up to um, see my grandkids and watch them while their parents were out of town. And then went to the Creative 8 retreat up in Oklahoma at Connie's house. So it was a whirlwind. But yes, I did have fun in your area. All right. So you guys see this right here, right? I want to punch this out. 
Joe Ellen just got her order today. We're going to be doing a little bit of paper saving. There's no reason to cut another piece of paper. I need this for my greeting layer. So we're going to add this stamped layer to our Lost Lagoon. Am I going too fast? You guys keeping up with me? Sandy Dillon said you were going to have a blast in my town. Sandy, what town are you in? I was all over Texas and Oklahoma. What town are you in, Sandy? I'm going to Las Vegas in August. All right. We're going to add some dimensionals now so that we can put these layers over here. All right. That is the minis. I don't want those. Thank you, Lois. I'm glad you love these colors. I'm trying to find my dimensionals. Oh, here they are. We don't need the black. Okay. We're going to pop this up with some dimensionals. Yeah, Lost Lagoon is really, I'm so happy they brought it back. And we're going to keep it for a while. So I love it. Okay. Taking off the backing. Okay. And then we're going to just put this wonky. You know, sometimes when we first start out making cards, it straight causes stress. So don't be stressing, y'all. Don't be stressing. All right. We're going to do a little bit of embossing. If you don't have a heat tool, if you don't want to emboss, you don't have to. I am using my little em embossing buddy. Speaking of which, that's what I've been calling the new dog. Come here, buddy. Come here, little buddy. Because I don't know his name. <laughs> Oh, there's never a dull moment. Uh, let's see. Sue Wall says, loving Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So we have our stamp, lots of love. And we have our Versa Mark. Sandy loves wonky. We're going to do lots of love. Now, this is tiny, but it fits, I promise. Let's see how I did. Pretty good. Uh, let's see. We're going to cover this back up. Hi, Kathy from Phoenix, Arizona. Welcome to our little stamp along tonight. Now, I'm going to be doing some embossing, like I said. And since this is so little, I'm going to be using my reverse tweezers. These are um, the best thing for holding those tiny bits and not burning our fingers. We don't want to burn our fingers. Okay. Hold that back. And we want to move this out of the way because the last thing we want to do is turn on the heat tool and blow that powder. Kay says I should call him Rogue. I love it if I keep him. <laughs> Come here, Rogue. Oh, my gosh, that's too cute, Kay. Way to go. That was awesome. All right, I'm going to heat this up. Hi, Tammy from up the highway. Girl, did you get your dimensionals yet? Yeah, Michelle. <clears throat> Registration for the retreat. She just posted some goodies information about that. Look at her. She is on top. I'm telling you, she is, Michelle is awesome. Okay. Michelle posted information about the Creative 8 retreat. Look at this. I was going to do it, but she beat me to it. The early bird registration is in the morning. We are ready to share some fun things with y'all. The retreat is actually July. Uh, and then I put that on there. Um, July 21st and 22nd. If you have been to a Creative 8 retreat, would you comment and let me know what is your favorite part about going to a Creative 8 retreat? You can say me if you want. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So I'm going to take my snips. And I'm going to cut off what I don't want. Look at that. So now I don't have an X. I just have a little banner. Look how fun. Ta-da. All right. Let's put some adhesive on that. And I think what I'm going to do is on this side, I'm going to add a... Yeah, hopefully, Tammy... Um, Hopefully you will get it tomorrow. You know, you never know about the mail. You don't live that far from me. Um, 
Ah, Peggy says her favorite part is getting all the tutorials. Good, good answer, Peggy, because you're going to get like this time, like 48 plus tutorials. That's a lot. That is a lot of inspiration happening there. Kay Strom says she has been to all. So many great ideas are shared. All right. Now y'all could decide if you want yours crooked. I opted to go straight on this one. But for the fun of it, let's go ahead and do this one crooked. Because I, I was going to do this on my original. Something different. All right. The retreats are so much fun, says Michelle. You learn so many helpful things. Now, I'm going to tie a bow, and I'm doing mine like the little bunny ears version. Because it's going to be a good-sized bow. Diane says she loves the live videos and seeing you and the others make beautiful cards. That's great. I'm so glad. Don't y'all just love it that everything is held on YouTube and anybody can attend no matter where they live in the world. So that is the best part. All right. We've got our uh, ribbon, a ribbon, our bow. I'm just going to trim this off. Mandy says, embrace the wonky when it's crooked. Absolutely. And don't stress. Y'all, no stress. Okay. So now we're going to add, um, I just thought it'd be fun just to have a little bow there. Um, I did use, uh, Michelle Townsley, is a, that's a great answer. She says at the retreats, encourage her to use up odds and ends. See, the Creative 8 team, y'all don't even see what I'm doing. I'm <laughs> getting some, some glue dots. Sorry, I'm just in a world by myself over here. Um, we encourage you to use the supplies you have to recreate our project. So there you go. All right, how'd we do? Who's finished with their card? Who all even has the inked and tiled stamp set? Anyway, that is the first one. And now we're going to make another one. We're going to make this one. Okay. Um, what do I have my glue dots in? The box that they come in. I just keep them in there. You know, they used to. Oh, great. Now it's stuck to the thing. They used to roll a different way, but now they don't. So I just leave them in here and then just cut it off when I'm done. Uh, yeah, y'all like my card. This one is super easy. And this, this time we're going to use some markers. Now, these markers are not the alcohol markers, y'all. They are the water-based markers. So whether you have the Stampin' Up! markers or not, you want to remember to use water-based markers because you don't want to ruin your stamp. Now, this stamp, if I inked it all up like I did a while ago, would all be in Lost Lagoon. I wanted the flowers to be different colors. So I took the marker. Whoops, hold on. Let me get all my supplies. <laughs> Let's make sure we have everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Use those. See, look, I am organized. I just want to point that out. I want to prove it to y'all that I was organized. I just don't know where the other pieces went. Okay, so... We are going to color our stamp. Uh, Joanne says my card is beautiful and she can't wait to use her set when it arrives. I'm so glad. Y'all, I've kind of fallen in love with this set. Just saying. All right. So we, again, water-based markers. We're going to color. And since they are water-based, they are drying probably just about as fast as I'm coloring. But y'all know I got some hot air. So we will be, I'm using Lost Lagoon, by the way. Um, we'll be using my hot air trick. Those of y'all who've watched me for a hot minute, you know what my hot air trick is. Now I'm going to use, um, what is this? Calypso Coral. Same thing. Now, again, if you don't have this stamp set, you could use any stamp set you want. You could even use, I mean, I hope you're using the same stamp set to make both of these cards. Okay. Just change it up. If you have some stamp and write markers, or even if you have other water-based markers, um, I hope that you will try coloring on your stamp because it's one of my favorite things to do. 
I think it's just so cool that you can give one stamp different colors. All right, y'all. Here's our crushed curry. Those of us who love crushed curry. Hi, Sherry Britton from Washington. So glad you joined us. All right. We're going to color this little flower right here. Roxanne says she fell in love with the paper. And of course, of course, she had to have the stamp set. Mm -hmm. Did you get the punch? <laughs> Did you get the punch back? Cheryl Thompson. Um, I bought the Stampin' Right markers, but didn't have the Lost Lagoon here. How, to, how do we get the new colors? Cheryl, girlfriend, they are on the website. Uh, they're, well, hmm, they are, you can get all the color refresh, I believe. There's a, there's a number. Cheryl, reach out to me um, on the team page and I'll help you with that. But there is a way to get the new color markers. Okay. All right. So we've got our basic white and this is just three and three quarters by five. All right. Y'all know me with the hot air. I'm doing that because um, I want to make sure that my ink is good and moist, good and juicy um, because I was chatting and all of that. But like I said, it is water based and they will tend to uh, dry as I am coloring. OK. All right. So we're going to bring in our Lost Lagoon pad again. It did stamp pretty, didn't it? I, I love it. I love it. OK. Um, where's my stamp? <laughs> oh, here it is right here. I wanted to give this more of a maybe it's grass kind of a look. Let's pull this over. I don't think it's going to stamp off. Um, so just kind of using that. To give it a scene, a little bit of a scene there. And then over here, I don't know if you can tell, I stamped the flower. Wanda says, I think this will be my sixth retreat. It encourages me to get some cards made from all your ideas. It is an outlet for me. I'm so glad, Wanda. Thank you for sharing that. And for those of y'all who, um, you know, if you're, if you're in Texas... I'm sure it'll be hot in Texas in July. So how fun would it be to just stay cool inside and do our retreat with us? Just saying. All right. So this right here, I took a piece of designer series paper and I thought it was that one. We're going to use this one. It's fine. Um, but I'm going to take that other punch. Remember this one? Okay. And I am going to punch out a fairly light image, okay? And we're going to stamp on it because we can. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, yay. Maria likes the stamp and write marker technique. I think it's so fun. I think it's so fun. All right, so this card is for a friend. And so we're just going to stamp, hello, friend. Just trying to get that straight. I'm trying to see if my hair is in the camera. Nope. And that turned out pretty good. So I'm going to close this up. How are y'all doing with your stamping? There you go. Michelle found the new core colors uh, link for you, Cheryl. Thank you, Michelle. Tammy says she forgets about using the markers. Uh, it's my favorite, favorite technique is to use the stamp and write markers. But I will tell you, it is not as good on the photopolymer. That's why we need more red rubber stamps. <laughs> Can y'all tell stamping up that? Um, yeah, the red rubber takes the markers much better. Um, so I'm using my take your pick tool just to try to get the backing off of these. I did, you know, you might say, well, she kind of overdid it on putting the dimensionals on. When you have um, designer series paper, it's pretty flimsy. So I just wanted to give it some support by adding extra uh, dimensionals. Thank you, Cindy. Cindy loves my nail color. I'm calling it Berry Burst. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. All right. So we're just going to do this right here. You know what? That's so funny. You know, where I stamped, I'm like, mm, I'm kind of covering that up. I think I'm going to go down a little bit. No two cards are ever the same. No two cards. All right. So let's go ahead and add this layer. This is four inches by five and a quarter. We're going to add our stamped 
paper to this layer. Now, this was the first time to try a stamp along like this. I, if you guys want me to do it again, I will give you more warning. Um, so if, I, I was, I was kind of thinking, what if we do a stamp along once a month kind of thing, maybe? Um, and then I tell you ahead of time, like not just the day of, um, I am going to just add a piece of basic white on the inside. Um, in other words, if y'all want to do this again, let me know, let me know in the comments. Um, and we will do it again and I will be better organized. Yesterday was busy with the free shipping day. I hope some of y'all saved some money yesterday. All right. So we're almost done. Candace says, do it again. I really enjoyed it. Okay. All right. So I thought, look at the glittery glitzy little jewels. These are, these are called adhesive back sparkle gems and Okay, you guys like this idea of the stamp along. Okay, now if you're stamping along, I need to see your projects. So you can post those over in our Facebook group. Um, TX, TX Sharon's Miss Stampin' Friends or Renee, help me out. Is it TX Stampin' Sharon's Friends? <laughs> There's two of them. Mystery Stamping and Sharon Stamping Friends. All right, so I am going to grab some sparklies because I love the bling and we're just going to add these to our card and we're done. There we go. How fun, right? Michelle Townsley said, I would love to stamp along, but what happens if I don't have the stamps that you're using? And that is the question, Michelle, you know, we could even do like, I could tell you on July, I'm picking a date here out of the air. I don't know the calendar. July 10th, I'm going to be using blank stamp set. And these are the measurements. And this is everything I'm using. I don't know. I It was just something that we talked about the other night during mystery stamping, I believe. And so um, that's what gave us the idea. Um, thank you. You guys love it. So you guys tell me, do you want to know ahead of time what stamp set I'm using? Because I'm usually two weeks out. The challenge is, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. <laughs> My camera went a little crazy. There we go. Um, it's just really hard like for you to do exact unless I give you a lot of notice of what stamp set I'm using. Thank you, Michelle. It is TX Sharon's Stamping Friends Facebook group and Michelle, our smart friend has put the link in the chat if you guys want to post your cards over there. So I'm just washing and drying my stamps. And apparently my camera does not like, look how funny my skin looks. It does not like the black. See? Weirdo. Weirdo. I'm just cleaning everything up. Okay. Because I don't want to grab it and use it wrong. We have one more card to make. And let's bring that in. This is a thank you card and we have our thank you. That's the only stamp we're using. I just think that this bundle is super fun. Um, I'm also using the ombre matte decorative dots. See, Sue, that's what I'm thinking. If you have a similar set, like she's talking about sending smiles, that would be fine. I think you just need to pick you're going to see my card. So you go, oh, I have a stamp set that looks sort of like that. Um, and so that's what I think we should do. I don't want, we don't want to make this complicated. We just want to have a little bit of time to stamp together. So good point, Sue. I like that. Uh, Patricia Zepp said, I'm sure everyone would have a stamp set that would work. Yeah. See, that's what I'm thinking, you guys. Let's make this easy, easy and fun. Okay. I give you the measurements. I tell you to have DSP cut and all that. All right, so I have my card base is Calypso Coral, and it is five and a half by eight and a half, and it is um, scored at four and a quarter. And then I actually embossed this. Can y'all see that? Can you see those bumps? I use the bumpy. It's what those of you who are at the uh, 
VIP mystery stamping, our mystery host, our mystery guest, Chad Williams from the home office called this the bumpy one. Okay. So uh, it's, I just love the polka dots. I think they're so fun. Um, Anita says she wants to know the stamp set if she wants to order it. So yeah. Um, you know what, Anita? And two, you might could order it afterwards or something if you don't have it. I just was shipping times right now. I hate to say, okay, in three weeks, y'all need the stamp set and then you don't get it for some reason. All right. The, the bumpy one is part of the basics 3D embossing folder uh, bundle. And there are two other ones in there. Um, so that is just what I chose to use. So we're going to move this up a little bit. We have our layers. Okay. This is going to go on the inside. Um, I embossed that. So if you want to emboss your, um, Cindy says I have the DSP, but not the bundle. Well, Cindy girl, you got to get it. <laughs> if you want to emboss your designer series paper, please do that now. Um, because it is, uh, super fun to emboss your paper. Okay. I don't know if you can see that on the back. So let's see. Um, who was it? Oh, Rosemary. Have you ever had to replace the black scrub pad or do you just order a new one? I've had to replace it. I used, you know, I used to have classes in my home and those are old. Like those are from, I have like three of them. And those are old. So I've never had to replace them. Did yours wear out? Like in the middle? Are you like really rubbing it, um, Rosemary? Sue doesn't have the DSP. So a lot of people I see, oh, there it goes again. It just does not like this black. That is so funny. A lot of people uh, clean in the center. I try to rub all over. I am so sorry that my camera, whew, that is a hot mess. I don't know why it does that. It doesn't like the black. Auto focus. Come on, focus. There we go. Come on. Um, a lot of people will clean in the middle. Try to clean all over. Okay. Uh, Cleon says, I am making, I'm only making one and she already posted it and it's with the cup of tea. Well, look at you, girl. That's awesome. All right. I'm going to add my designer series paper to a piece of, um, wait. Yeah, I did. Um, you could either, I'm going to be adding some ribbon, but I did not wrap my ribbon. I just cut it off at the edge. You could wrap it around if you want, um, but I'm going to be adding the three and three quarters by five inch designer series paper to my Lost Lagoon that is four inches by five and a quarter. Okay. Where do you order your, order the pad? Um, I think you have to buy a whole new one, Rosemary. If you want a new... Oh, I don't think we, I don't, mm. Michelle, will you go look and see on the Stampin' Scrub if we have replacement pads? I think you have to order the whole thing. I don't think I've ever seen that. You know, y'all, there's so much that you could buy. It's like, oh, I can't keep up with it all. All right. Now, See, Mary says she would like to know the dimensions prior to the class. I'm, I'm going to really try to have the measurements for y'all a day ahead. I have been giving the measurements on the blog after the live. So by giving it to you before the live, then you could stamp along. Okay, Christy says you have to get the whole thing. So, yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you, Christy. Um, I'm just going to be adding this layer so my designer series paper my cardstock layer to my card base okay and then since i have this i'm going to go ahead and add my um no replacement pad says maria yes thank you guys i thought so but you know i i have to double check everything all right so i'm just adding my basic watt and that is also four inches by five and a quarter so um Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate that. Okay, so the ribbon, we just had it when we made our bow. There it is. So the ribbon, I thought, let's just cut it off straight and cut it off straight and make it fray a little bit. Um, so Rosemary says, I've never seen them work and we'll work on the outer edges. If it gets worse, we'll buy a new one. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. 
Um, hold on. Let me get my scissors. Okay. So, y'all, I have two pairs of scissors. My family knows me. Like, they can use these for paper, but these are for ribbon and fabric only. Do y'all do that? Am I the only weirdo? <laughs> All right. We don't sell these scissors anymore. They were the best things. Stampin' Up! used to sell them, and I never got rid of mine. So, all right. So I'm just, and then you can just kind of fray that on the ends. It's just kind of a fun, just kind of pull that, get it to just kind of fray a little bit. It's kind of fun. I don't know. Gives it a different look, a little chic look. How are we doing on time? Oh, I am doing great. I am doing great. Y'all, I have made three cards, chatted away, and it's not even 45 minutes. I'm so impressed. All right. So we're going to line this up. And I'm just going to pick that up, and I'm going to cut it right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, if y'all wanted to wrap your ribbon around, you could. Um, see, Michelle has hers labeled uh, ribbon. Uh-huh. Sue says, my family knows not to get near my scissors, fabric or otherwise. Even our eight-year-old grandson knows that. I'm, I mean, my grandkids know that too. You're right. Nobody messes with my scissors. And if they do, they better be able to read. And they better use the right one <laughs> for the right thing. Um, ooh, okay. Maria put a ribbon on her ribbon scissors. Um, well, we could you could certainly request a replacement scrub pad. You're right for the pads. Okay, we're having a little struggle here. Hold on. Got a little tangle. There we go. Okay. So just giving it a little shabby chic look. Just something different. This reminds me of what Shelly does. The um, sweet, sweet lady who started Stampin' Up! 35 years ago. Stampin' Up! is 35 years old. So just kind of a... A little chic look there. Whoops, I don't know why that's doing that. Okay, now to, to add it onto the paper, this is embossed. I prefer, whoops, to add just a little bit of glue. Where's my card? Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little line of glue, little bit, straight across, okay. Renee says, I have blue paper scissors, orange ribbon scissors with a ribbon tie to it, an orange pair for sticky cuts. Renee is organized. And I bet your grandkids know all the rules too, don't they? All right, we're just tapping that down. If you add a real thin line, then the glue doesn't seep through. Um, the uh, ribbon is bad, okay? All right. Lois says, scissors are labeled and hidden from non-crafters. <laughs> I love that. All right. We are going to grab this punch. And I have some designer series paper that I have punched out. And so I just thought it was super fun. I think I did this side. To just, and I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what my inspiration was for this card. And I'm actually just going to punch two of those because there's two sides, right? I need one, two, three, four, five. Um, let's punch this one. One, two, three, four, four, five. Okay. So before I go any further, I want to show y'all something. Sometimes y'all ask me, how do I come up with my ideas? I study cards that the designers have made. Y'all see those cards? Okay. So this idea right here, six, and this idea right here, and that paper, I combined these two. Now you know my secret. You know, I look at cards and then I see it in a different way and that's how I make it. 
Oh, Renee. Renee's talking about her different color. She meant red for her sticky, for the sticky ones. Okay, so then we have to decide. We want that showing. We want this showing. We want this showing. What do we want? And yeah, we'll do that and that. Okay, so just kind of have, you know, an assortment of these. Um, I did pop these up with some dimensionals. Some with dimensionals, some not. Okay, just trying to remember. Whoops, I am off the camera again. Y'all, y'all are going to fire me. <laughs> Actually, I think I like that pattern. Let's do this. Um, are twisted ribbon cards easy to create? Twisted ribbon? Oh, look, Michelle, I mean, Renee's answering that one. I've never heard of a twisted ribbon card. What is that? I've heard of um, twisted cards, but not twisted ribbon. Y'all, y'all have to teach me. I teach y'all all the time. <laughs> y'all got to teach me this stuff that you know. So I'm just kind of playing and deciding which ones I want. My cards are not going to look the same. I can pretty much tell y'all that. But that's okay. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, if you're watching the replay and you want to do a stamp along exactly like I'm doing, let's do that one. Um, let me know in the comments. Okay, so just kind of adding all of these. Uh, yeah, let's do that color. Hi, Judy Tebow. You're actually on the live, girlfriend. I am still, I am live. You are not watching the replay. How fun is that? Let's do this one. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so if you guys want to receive this first, uh, re receive the measurements ahead of time for our, and I'm going to announce, I'm going to look at the calendar. What day are we going to do our next stamp along? Um, that way you guys can be prepared. Okay. So we need our punch. Yeah, we will. I will announce it and we will be, um, you guys can, can join me the next time. If you, if you like this idea, I guess I lost my bit of paper. That's okay. We'll just get another piece. We have lots of cardstock. Now, some of you prefer to stamp first and then punch. Oh, Deborah, that's so sweet of you. She says, I just love stamping with you. It's always fun. Okay. I'm going to stamp here and I'm giving myself room around so that I can use my punch. Pamela says, I saw your email, but I spaced out tonight, but I'm watching you now. And I printed the tutorial. <laughs> We're so glad that you're here. And I hope that you will go back and make this card, make these cards. There's three of them. All right. So we're going to line this up. I like that. And then we kind of have, we're going to put this right here in the middle. I'm, think, I'm trying to decide, do I have room for another dimensional? And I think I do. Let's just keep it going here. I'm going to pop that right there. Uh, thank you, Mary. That's so sweet of you. Okay. What are we missing? We're missing our little ombre decorative dots. I was like, I remember the word ombre. Why are they called ombre? Because they do get lighter and darker. And y'all see how dark and then how light. So it's like here, you can tell more here. Dark, dark, lighter, 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 light. Y'all see that? So fun. All right. So... I don't know. I really wish these, that doesn't match. Stay away from it, Sharon. Stay away from it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with the dark because that's what I used before. Whoops. I need that. Um, I'm going to do this. 
and this and that. Whoops. Okay. Oh, Terry Gaines had one. I'll have to go find it. I love Terry Gaines. She's super sweet. Okay. Let's see our lineup. Let's see what y'all made. I want to see y'all's cards. Y'all are seeing mine, so I want to see yours. Okay, let's see here. Let's do this. And then where's our other one? There we go. What do y'all think? Pretty fun, huh? I love this. I love this suite. I love this bundle. And so don't be surprised if y'all don't see this again soon because it's super fun. So, um, okay. Susan says twisted ribbon card could be a card technique for my technique classes. Funny. You should mention that because July we're coming back to techniques. I just miss some. I love techniques. So I will go check that out, Susan. And I will look for Terry Gaines's uh, video on that. Um, so thank you. You guys are loving my cards. I appreciate that. Um, I will be back here on YouTube Monday night. I was like, what is Monday? June 26th. There is this holiday coming up. So I will not be live on July 3rd because that is a holiday. So, all right. Thank you guys for joining me. And you can hop over to the blog in nine minutes and you can get this um, the download if you missed it if you just joined me late um, I sent out let me grab it I sent out this tutorial whoops huh, let me show you the camera <laughs> I sent out this tutorial with the measurements from my cards that you guys could print off you can go to the blog and like I said in about nine minutes and be able to download that and then you've already watched the video so you could make the card I have a cramp in my foot, so I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> Only during a live can things like that happen. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I'll see you Monday. Have a, Oh, don't forget to register in the morning. Um, I'm going to make sure that the link is below this video to register for the Create Eight Retreat. So, bye.